Oh my god. You did not have to see that. Okay, uh, while my car is starting and warming up a bit, <laughs> let me introduce myself. Hi, I'm Kathy. And today we are going on a little solo date trip thing. Uh, I'm going to the mall. And the reason why I'm going to the mall is to pick up my iPad, which I spent like a thousand bucks on, but I am an artiste. I have to stay up to date with all the, the newest technology. And I also have been using my mom's iPad for the past four years to like do procreate and like illustrations on. So I think it's about time that I get my own iPad and finally become an iPad girly. So, that's what we're doing today. I thought, you know, while I'm at the mall, I might as well just like go shopping for a bit. Um, Cause last time I went shopping was on like New Year's day and I did it with my family. But now that I can do it on my own, I might as well. But yeah, I will see you at the mall. Shit. Uh... Oh my God. Oh my god. Okay. This is my first time going to Cherry Creek, like, alone. So... I'm literally, like... I'm so lost. Oh my god. Okay. I can't perk. So, I think that's good enough. Oh well. I secured it. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to my car. There's like copyright music playing and I'm I'm scared. I'm okay. I'll talk to you guys at the car for a bit. I'm back at my car. Anyways, I'm back at my car and I put my iPad in this tote bag and everything because in Colorado there's this um, policy now where if you want a bag it costs like 10 cents. I don't know, I feel like if I go to a store and ask for a bag... No, I should probably bring a tote bag with me when I go back in. But anyways, I'm taking this coat off because I'm, I'm just sweating and it's so hot in there. Let me reorganize everything and then I'll be back in the store. Three hours later. Okay, y'all, I'm back in my car. I just paid for parking, which is like $4. So I was straight up in there for like three hours three to four hours anyways i got myself some frozen yogurt and i paid an embarrassing amount of money for this i paid 16 dollars for this and i'm not even surprised that it was that expensive because this is a big bowl like they only have these big bowls and because it's a big bowl you're kind of just like pressured to fill it all the way so that they can grab your money I'm kind of upset about that. I should have gotten Greek food at the place next door. Not the place next door, but like the place that was like right beside it. Like, cause one of the gyros, like with the tzatziki is only like $10. <sighs> oh well. But hey, I haven't had this frozen yogurt in years. Like the last time I had this was probably in like seventh grade when I went to the Cherry Creek Mall for the very first time. But a little overview of like my shopping trip. Um, where did I go first? I went downstairs to the J Crew and I like yeeted myself out of there like immediately because I just felt really out of place there. Yo, I walked out of that J Crew so fast. Everything is so well made. Like the fabric is great, but it's so expensive. I looked at a cashmere cardigan and it was $158. I feel like I was just paying money 
with my eyes, like just simply by looking at everything. It's like a middle-aged version of Aritzia. I'm just gonna say it because I, I saw mostly middle-aged people there. Let's see, so after that I went straight across to the Free People, uh, which is a lot more, you know, cozy, cottagecore. It does teeter the line of cultural appropriation because, I don't know, I was looking at one of their rings and they had like this certain pattern on them that just like reminded me of like indigenous American like patterns and designs and whatever. So I'm like, okay. Also, there was a claw clip there for like $20. And I was like, ain't no way I'm spending $20 on a claw clip. I got a claw clip for like $3 at like a local Asian market. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, and then after that, I went to Aritzia. Aritzia is the only place where I actually got stuff from, surprisingly. And it was my first time shopping there too, cause like I'm, I'm not, I'm a fashion girly, but I'm not like a bougie fashion girly. Like I, I always felt intimidated by Aritzia just because of like how expensive their stuff is. But most of the stuff that they have is just basics. And I can get basics like anywhere else, but I don't know, just something about like the hype around Aritzia just like made me want to go there and, you know, buy a couple of things from there for the first time. Uh, so I got myself this like cobalt blue, TNA uh, cropped shirt, which I'm excited to wear for the rest of this winter. And also like a workout tank top. I think it was also from TNA, but it was on sale for $10. So that's a steal. I feel like the customer service is really good. Like never have I ever had like a customer service representative like go up to me and be like, hey, uh, do you want me to um, put, you know, the items that you're shopping for like in the back for you so that you know you can keep shopping with your hands free and we'll get it to you later and i was like sure definitely even though i was only holding like one shirt <laughs> top-notch customer service way to go aritzia i went to urban um there was this like really gimmicky like donut mug there that i was so tempted to buy and just gift <laughs> to a friend of mine oh my god the texture too oh my god it actually feels like glazed Icing. Oh my god. It's so gimmicky and funny. I actually want to give it as a gift. Oh my god. And then the exhaustion was starting to hit me. Like, I was just walking around everywhere and just like trying to absorb everything with my eyes. And um, yeah. And I was like, all right, I guess it's time to grab something to eat and go. Uh, I decided to go for frozen yogurt, and here I am. I paid $17 for this. I regret it so much. There used to be a frozen yogurt place, like, close to my friend's house, but they closed down. And I'm kind of sad, because I feel like the frozen yogurt at that place is much better than here. I don't know if it's because of the flavors I got, because I got vanilla and strawberry, but both of these flavors are very light, um, which is fine because like I can have a lot of it, but <sighs> I should have gotten Wetzel's pretzels instead or something. I don't know. I should have gotten something cheaper instead of just $16 worth of dessert. But anyways, enough of my bad decisions for today. I'm gonna go home now before this whole thing melts. I'll put it in the freezer and I'll make myself something to eat. I have a lot of homework to do this weekend and I'm not excited about it, but hey, I got my iPad. That was literally like the only thing I came here for, but I made a solo date slash shopping trip out of it. So that's good. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this impromptu vlog video and i will see you guys next time bye oh my god there's a keith herring and h and m collab <gasps> yo this is actually kind of cute capitalism really popped off today